Hi everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a new plugin in 3ds Max called Tyflow. Um, this, is, this will be a very simple and basic tutorial on how to birth um, particles inside Tyflow and how to animate them in a, in a fun way um, you know, so to get something like this where you birth a, a series of particles or um, um, balls out of Tyflow and then when they hit each other or hit the ground um, they just smash into a million pieces. So, so something quite fun. Um, um, something quite fun, and it looks at something like this in terms of um, how Typeflow works. Um, um, without further ado, I might just wipe this whole scene clean, um, and I'll, I'll start from scratch. So the first thing that you want to make sure you've done, and, and this video assumes, is that you've already installed Typeflow into your um, computer, um, into 3ds Max. Um, it is free to download off, Ty, off, off, off Tyson's website. I'll, I'll leave the website in the um, in the description link below, just so that people can access this, um, uh, um, download this uh, plugin fairly quickly and install it into their computers. Um, so once you've installed um, Typeflow into your 3ds Max, you'll need to just um, turn on uh, Typeflow um, by going to the create but uh, the create button and clicking on type um, and going to um, the standard primitives um, uh, option and clicking on tie flow um, and then just click and hold and this will turn on tie flow um, so that when you go into the modifier list you can open up the graphics user interface that will allow you to create um, the um, uh, create the scene that you want. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to birth a series of um, particles. So I'm just going to drag and uh, drag the birth um, controller here. Um, and basically, it's starting off by saying I'm going to birth anywhere between uh, uh, I'm going to birth a total of 200 um, 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 particles, but the frame is going to start at zero and the frame is going to end at 100. So I might um, just for looking further ahead, I might just I might reduce this and maybe I might birth maybe maybe just three um, three uh, actually no I might birth maybe three per frame um, actually no maybe two per frame per frame instead so that all up over 100 frames I get 200 um, dots that are that are um, created now after you've done this you'll see that actually nothing happens on the screen um, if I click play um, because in fact um, we haven't told Typeflow where exactly to birth these particles, so they're not originating anywhere. So we have to tell Typeflow um, where to actually um, create these particles. And how you would actually do that is just by going to um, uh, the motion, uh, sorry, no, not, not motion, um, um, going back to the create, and then going back to the helpers section, and, uh, and selecting Typeflow, and creating a tie icon. Um, click and hold, and this will create pretty much like a platform in which you can um, uh, be, uh, tell Typho to birth, um, birth particles. Now, the next thing you need to do is you need to actually make make a, a relationship between this platform and the birth um, itself, so the birth controller itself. So what you then need to do is you need to then find a controller called position icon, which is just here. You drag and drop that underneath birth. And what this will do is this will give you the option to um, pick and create a relationship between the birth and the actual platform itself. So under position icon, I'm going to click pick and I'm going to click the tie icon. So you can sort of begin to see now that as I move this animation along, more, more pixels are being created at the platform, but they're just being created and they're not really um, doing anything. So let's get a bit more creative. So the first thing that um, uh, we would, what we'd like to do is let's let's see if we can make these guys move in a in a vertical direction. So first thing I'm going to do, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add a speed controller into um, my uh, into my um, um, my tie flow. Um, I'm going to um, um, uh, right now, and then once you've done that, and I've now created the animation, you can see that it is 
a random 3D direction. So you can see that the particles are almost swarming out like a series of flies um, because they're just being told by Typhler to just randomly spurt out from, from the platform. So we, we can um, certainly, um, you know, bring some order to the way that they move by changing this to um, um, moving the direction along icon arrow. And we just need to tell Typhler which arrow to move along and we want to move along this platform arrow. So we're going to um, click pick and then we're going to click pick the actual platform itself. So now you can see that if I was to play my um, uh, um, animation, you can see that the, uh, the, uh, the icons actually move in a in a in downward direction. Now, I, personally, I want it to move up so that we can create the balls uh, in the future flying up. So I'm just going to reverse the direction in which it yeah, in which the direction um, the, uh, the 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 particles are being birthed. So you can almost now begin to see like a, a never-ending stream of of particles being um, being birthed. Now, at this stage, the dots are fairly boring, so I, I want to make them into spheres or balls. So I'm going to add a shape controller, which will allow me to control the shape of these dots. So I'm going to drop shape, and I'm going to change the mesh type from a 3D to a, uh, cil uh, not a cylinder, a, a sphere. And I'll keep it just mid-res just for now. Um, um, and I might and uh, and and but you can still see that it's still displaying dots, and that is because the birth controller is. Uh, is oh, sorry the display controller is still saying display this as, as small dots so if you actually click into this and change um, geometry you can begin to see that there's it's now a sphere um, and what you might want to do just to make it a bit more um, nice looking is change the scale to say 200 and that makes the ball um, a bit bigger so now you can begin to see it now we've got a stream of just balls just um, coming up from the tie flow but I, I wanted to um, you know, shoot up and then and then come back down. So what I'm going to then do is I'm going to add some add a a, a, a physics um, shape controller to this. And what this will do is this will tell the shapes to have some. Uh, it it'll impose the laws of physics onto these um, onto these balls here. So you can begin to see now that when these balls are in, are created, they just you know they just all agglomerate at the surface there because they're too heavy to um, to shoot up, whereas previously they were just shooting up um, like they, they um, the laws of physics didn't apply to them. So uh, this is good, but I really want them even. But although now that they're heavy, I still want them to shoot up and so that they come back down. Um, if I go to my speed controller here, I can actually increase the magnitude in which the speed uh, in which the speed of these balls move along the um, uh, um, move up. So I might just change this to 10. Um, oh, it's just automatically updated the um, the animation. And as you can see now, the balls fly up and then they come back down. But what you can probably see in this animation is that what it appears to be some very solid and very heavy spheres. I, I want them to be able to bounce when they hit the floor. So um, what I'm going to now, what I'm going to then do is I'm going to um, just jump into physics shape. In other words, modify the laws of the physics that apply to this shape. And I'm going to go into dynamics. I am going to uh, uh, find restitution. Restitution is basically another, a more nicer way of saying the, the degree of bounce or the degree of um, elasticity in the ball. So I might just change this to say maybe point, uh, maybe just maybe one. And let's see how that goes. So if I replay my animation, the balls jump up, boom, and there you go. You can begin to see that the balls are now bouncing away um, in a bit more more of a lifelike manner. Um, I can get a bit more creative, um, um, and you know I might increase the restitution to two. And again, what will happen is it'll fly up and it'll bounce away immediately. So um, there's a lot more bounce to it, and so there's a bit more sporadic behavior in terms of how these balls are now, you know, shooting up out of the tie flow um, platform. Um, I can also get a bit more creative and add a and and make these balls break as soon as they um, hit the floor. And we can do that by adding a Voronoi fracture. Um, and so essentially, what will happen is that once it uh, shoots up, 
and hits another ball or hits the ground, you can begin to see now it's just flying all over the place in terms of, um, you know, particles flying everywhere. So, um, uh, and you can see, you can see more and more um, volumes are, are being created and then breaking at the same time. So this was just a very um, a quick tutorial on how on how you actually birth um, particles using oops on how you um, birth particles using um, Tyflow. Um, I, I do hope you found it interesting, um, and you know you can begin to use these in a bit more of a once you figure out how to birth um, particles, you can begin to use them in a bit more um, different set of applications. Um, so um, and that's it. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it.